Today I'm going to show you how you can upscale your small size images from mid journey and also how you can vectorize it here in the discord server with the trace journey bot. First I'm going to show you how to install the trace journey bot and then how you can use it. All you need to do is go to Google, type in trace journey and go to tracejourney.com, click on join the discord and from there you should get into the discord server which is right here and by the way you also can generate images with mid journey here and then upscale it or vectorize it but you don't want to upscale your images here. I'm going to send the DM to the trace journey bot. So all you need to do is go here to the right where you can find a trace journey bot, right click and let's select message. And this is going to redirect you from the community to messaging with the trace journey bot. So all you need to do here is just drag and drop the image, press center. And here we can see we get a couple of options. We got the vectorize, upscale, remove background, convert, quick adjustments and grid split. So first I can upscale and then I can explain the rest of them. Click on upscale and it's going to ask you if you want to upscale it two times or four times. I got to go with four. It took like 10 seconds. Click on download, visit site and it's going to download it. So I'm going to press control one to upscale to 100% and it's not that bad. It does a pretty good job on the clothing because this was more in focus rather than the face. And you also can see the concrete is also in focus. It's not the best image. So anyways, what happens if you wanna go back and do some more adjustments on the photo, but you cannot see the settings anymore. All you need to do is go here to the smiley face and select this dog, or you can type in here dog and it's going to show click on it and this is going to bring back the settings. Okay, now I'm going to click on remove background to see how it's going to work and it did a really clean job and you also can convert. I'm going to click on convert. You can convert it to PNG, JPEG. In this situation, you're going to need it in PNG. Anyways, let's go back and we got the quick adjustments and this is about brightness, contrast, color and sharpness. I'm going to click on the contrast, for example, and here you can see a couple of numbers. If you want to increase the contrast, you can choose from plus five all the way to plus 25. Or if you want to decrease the contrast, you can go with minus values. I'm going to increase to plus 25 to see what happens and it actually did increase the contrast. Good. And there's like also this option, the grid split, which is really interesting. It's going to split the image in four. Look at that, which is kind of bizarre. I am not a fan of it, but this is it. Okay, not but least we got the vectorize option. So for this one, we got a special image, which is gonna be the Yoda. So I'm gonna drag and drop, enter, upload, and click on vectorize. And this is going to create an SVJ file of it. Click on the download button. And I'm going to drag and drop into Illustrator and this is it. So it is not perfect, but uh, you know, it's the AI vectorizing these shapes. So it's not that bad. This is more complicated illustration. Of course, it's going to have more issues, but it has this option as well. I recommend you go with a simple shape to vectorize it so you won't have a lot of minor issues like this one. And these are some of the awesome tools in Trace Journey. Thanks for watching.